Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be having a look at recovering deleted files from Sony memory cards. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is because just recently I did actually delete one of my videos after I just recorded it to my despair, uh, which jogged a memory from years ago when I worked at the Sony Center. I had a customer come in who had deleted all of her photographs. Um, and then I remembered that Sony did some software back in the day that allowed to recover them, or at least attempt to. So I did actually manage to recover the lady's photographs. She was very happy. And now here I am doing it for myself. And I thought I'd make a video about it because I thought people would find that very useful. The first thing you'll need to do is to have your camera plugged into your computer using the supplied USB cable. That way the computer will see it as an external hard drive. In Windows it will be under my computer and for using an Apple Mac computer it will be under Finder. If you don't have a digital camera that the card can be read from then you'll need to get yourself an external card reader. Now some of these card readers are like a 7-in-1 scenario where you can all read many many different types of cards. Experimenting myself I have found that some of the more recent card readers do not read the very early memory sticks. And there you go, once the camera has been installed by Windows it just pops up in my computer as an external hard drive. Ok now that that's been established let's uh, look at the software. So basically you need to have a look on uh, Google and uh, find the software, it's called Memory Card File Rescue and it will take you to the Sony site where you can download it. It's a two part affair download, you'll download a link first and once you've done that it will ask you to verify your memory card model number and uh, serial number. So here's the first part here, you click on that link there, Memory Card File Rescue, It'll take you to the next page that will let you know what uh, kind of formats it will deal with and what kind of files it can rescue. Sometimes you can even recover damaged files as well. And there's the rest of the formats, and it'll even do documents. And there's some of the supported products it will deal with. So once you've had a quick look at all of that to see if what you're trying to recover is there, you can click next. And then it gives you the file name there, so obviously exe for Windows and the file size and the file version. That's all the different operating systems it will uh, work with. Windows 8.1 to Windows 11 and Mac OS, the models are there for that. And on this example I'm actually using a Mac computer today. And at this point here you're going to have to put in the model number and just below the model number is the identification number. And here are some examples of where those uh, numbers can be found. At the top there's your model number and where it started out below is your identification number and it shows all the different types of memory cards. I've already got it saved there in a notepad, so that's the model number of the memory card. And then you'll need to know the identification number. That's just below the model number. Again I've got that already saved. Now I have actually tried these uh, model numbers on other memory cards and it still worked. I thought it might be specific to the card. Once you've confirmed your memory card and identified it, You've got the option of downloading the Windows version or the Mac version. As I'm using a Mac I'm going to be downloading the Mac version. There we are, it's a pretty quick download. So I just double click on that one to open that up. Oh, I clicked on this one here first, I was wrong, it's actually the um, file on the left you need. So the box on the left is the one you want, not the one on the right. And there we go, once you've selected that, just uh, agree to the user agreement. Unless of course you want to read it, who does? Click on agree and install. There we go, nice and quick. Gives you the option here to move the original installation files to the bin if you want to, but I've left them on this occasion. So next up, let's go to the memory stick itself, look at the photograph that's in there already. Got two pictures there, I'm going to be deleting those now. Move those to the recycling bin and then it's time to delete them from the recycling bin. So they are now gone. There we are, just going back into it to show you they have actually gone. So next up is to open up the recovery software and here it will give you a little warning, um, something for you to read. There we go, it's asking for your memory stick, I've already got it inserted using a nice small one today, 64 megabyte. 
Um, you can select unnecessary here if you don't have any ABCHD files to recover, that will shorten the um, search time. Uh, this said it's going to take about two minutes because it's only a small memory card. So we'll skip through this. Here we go, it's coming near the end now. Nice little time elapse there to show you how far in it's gone. Obviously if you're using a gigabyte card it's going to take a long time. I have actually cancelled at this point before and it's still actually shown some files it's recovered because I was impatient. And here you go, here are the files it's recovered. And out of those two images I can see only one of them is actually looking like it's um, come through. You can um, unselect all and just select the ones you want to look at or to get back. There's a little preview window there so you can see what the picture looks like. Um, that one there on the left is working but the one on the right isn't. So as I say it can be a little bit hit and miss. It does depend on what else has happened to the memory card since it was deleted. In this case, nothing had happened and it still didn't find it. But so luckily the other day when I deleted that video file, I did get the whole thing back. At this point, it'll ask to make a little folder for the file to go into on the actual computer itself. It doesn't go back to the memory card. And you go click Save, click OK. And then you can display the file recovery location. And there are the two images I selected, but as you can see, only one of them is recovered. So all in all, it's a very handy piece of software to have. Um, if you've got any files you've deleted, you may even find some that have been deleted ages ago. So there you have it. It's a very handy piece of software, this. It's great that Sony still supplies it. I haven't tried it on any non-branded uh, memory cards. Perhaps that's something I could do in a future video. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching that with me, and I hope you find it useful. If you do have any questions, leave a comment in the comments below. I'll put a link up to the uh, software itself in the description. Um, hopefully Sony will keep on supplying this for years to come. Well, I guess that just leads me to say, as always, thanks for watching. And until next time, I'll be seeing you. And if you did enjoy watching this video, you may want to take a look at some of my other videos on similar themes. I'm always buying something on eBay, some old piece of technology and trying to repair it. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Thanks for watching.